Wow, we just got 5 brand new battle cards leaked and to be honest I was really skeptical at the beginning when I found out battle will be a new mechanic in Magic the Gathering Arena. But as more as I see of it, as more am I excited to find new synergies and to play with these cards, but also utilizing some older cards to just get the advantage on the field with the battle mechanic. But let's check out shortly which 5 new cards are leaked, they were leaked 5-6 hours ago, so let's check out all the beauties. And let's start from the top with Invasion of Ergamon. It's a red and a green, so just two mana, battle, uncommon, with five loyalty on it. And it says whenever, whenever it enters the battlefield, we create a treasure token and then we can discard a card and then we're gonna draw a card. This is a May ability, so we don't need to do it. But on the backside, we have something with 3-4. We don't see the backsides of the leaks, but maybe soon it will be available. So I definitely gonna be posting an update on this video if we have the backsides. But there is something with 3-4, so maybe something, some big creatures. Feature. I assume it will be with Trample, just judging on the art style of our Invasion of Argamon. And a 2 mana 3 4 is not bad, and we will need to invest some resources to get these loyalty counters all or the battle counters down to 0 from 5. The next battle card is Invasion of Fiora. It's a 6 mana 4 loyalty battle card again, and whenever it enters the battlefield, it's a Pseudo Sweeper. It says destroy all legendary creatures or destroy all non legendary creatures. Creatures. So you can choose one or both, so you sweep the whole board um, if you want to remove all the legendaries, non-legendaries, or if you are running something like Esper Legends, maybe for example, and your opponent do not really has the imp impactful legendary creature, so you can just sweep your opponent's board, I think this is just amazing. And on the back side, we have something with 3-6, and I assume this is a legendary token creature, and regarding on the art, I think it will have some sort of attacking ability, so if it attacks, for example, it drains your opponent, or if it attacks, it creates a non-legendary token uh, with XX power and toughness, um, depending on how much legendaries, for example, you have. But I think with 4 loyalty and 6 mana value, it's a really interesting take on it because in the same turn I think we have a wide enough board to play the battle card and then attack maybe with some flyers or some tramplers to getting through and get the value out of battle instantly on the same turn. The next invasion or battle card is invasion of Ikoria. It's an X and double green obviously battle card with 6 loyalty on it. And I think the ability of this battle card is really impactful because it says whenever it enters the battlefield we search our library or graveyard so if a creature died already we can take it out of the graveyard for a non-human and this is an interesting wording a non-human so it will be something in beasts because Ikora is all about beasts and mutations um, who didn't play the set or maybe is not followed up on the history of Ikoria and is full of dinos and beasts similar to Exelon that we're gonna check out next but nonetheless we look for a creature with mana value x or less and put it onto the battlefield if we search in the library we shuffle our uh, deck this way but it doesn't really matter i think the shuffling in this case and on the back side we have something with 8 8 so i imagine this will be some sort of dino or some sort of monster beast uh, that is maybe able to attack with haste or trample or reach uh, or something on the other side and i think this plays also in a really good synergy because for example let's say um x will be equal 4 and we have with 4 mana value a lot of creatures that have also haste or maybe trample or some other uh, reach abilities and reach I don't mean with reach blocking the flying creatures reach I mean difficulties to block for your opponent so we can maybe instantly pop our uh, invasion of Ikoria and get this 8-8 to protect ourselves in the opponent's turn. And then another amazing green battle card is the Invasion of Exelon. Uh, people who are following my channel know that I love Exelon art and I love Exelon story. It's just something maybe childish inside me uh, that says dinos are cool. But also the art style of Exelon, Exelon basic land style for example was one of my most favorite in all the history of Magic the Gathering. But nonetheless Invasion of Exelon is a 2 mana 4 loyalty battle card and it says whenever Invasion of Exelon enters the battlefield we look at the top 5 cards of our library so 2 mana investment for top 5 is not bad and we may re reveal a permanent card and put it in our hand so any permanent doesn't matter it can be another battle card it can be um, a creature it can be a Zaga whatever permanent we find in the top 5 we can put it in our hands also lands and we, the rest we put uh, back to our library and on the flip side if we bring the 4 um, counter 
counters battle counters i will call it uh, down we have a four tree so again a two mana investment for a four tree with maybe some extra abilities i presume here will be something with trample again judging from the art of this battle card i think something with trample maybe haste uh, will be really really cool but now we're gonna talk about one of the most amazing battle card i'm super excited about because at first it doesn't has a creature on the backside because you don't maybe you don't see there is this flip information on the bottom right is not available for a creature so maybe we're gonna see a planeswalker maybe we're gonna see a pump effect because invasion of new perex is an x white and a blue a six loyalty battle card says whenever invasion of new perex enters the battlefield create x22 white blue knight creature tokens with vigilance guys maybe not Knights are back. I hope the soldiers get some good company in Knights because, you know, I love Knights. I used to love Boros Knights um, to play. It was really, really much fun. And here we have something that is definitely very interesting card i believe this could be some pump effect for the whole team something like your whole team gets plus two plus two or flying or vigilance or maybe even all of it because six loyalty to bring it down as an aggro deck not going phase but going towards the battle card is really really painful because it's theoretically six life that your opponent gets through this battle but a payoff must be there and i think in this case again judging on the art it will give you multiple abilities maybe even something on pre-combat step where you can choose your creatures gain flying flying your creatures gain plus two plus two your creatures gain uh, lifelink first strike and so on so maybe something like this because it definitely looked like it the art is amazing or maybe we're gonna get some amazing planeswalker i mean tephas is a possibility in azorius but i'm definitely excited the most for this battle card and this is it for the leaks i hope soon we're gonna get the back side card and uh, we're gonna find out what is really on the back side but for now uh let me ask you what do you think is on the back side of this card what are the abilities what we can get the potential let me know down in the comments so we can discuss or have a nice talk about it in the comment section i always enjoy doing it also in my discord server so if you're interested join the discord server but until then i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like it and i hope to see you in the next one ciao